Warning, the following video is performed by a trained professional. It is meant for educational purposes only. Please do not attempt to try anything you see here. Enjoy. Hey YouTube, Dan from South Hall Computing here and we're going to be doing a 5 gigahertz wireless bridge to a 2.4 wireless repeater. So, you might be asking, well, why, Dan, are we going to be doing this? Well, say, for example, you have your setup in the basement, you want more elevation in your building slash home, and you don't want to run wires. Well, this is a temporary solution for something like this. So basically, we don't want to cause too much congestion on the 2.4 gigahertz band, so this way we could actually go through the floors with the 5 gigahertz and then push the 2.4 gigahertz band across the higher elevation of the, your building slash home. So how do we do this? Right off the bat for my experiment we're using the Cisco E3000. I found through all my tests and different series of routers the best one that works with this particular situation with minimal configuration is the Cisco E3000. Now why the E3000 works better, I couldn't tell you. You can use other models, but they actually require a lot more configuration on the admin side. So for the less headache approach, get yourself an E3000. You'll thank me later. So we have our tomato firmware on here, and it's the latest one from Shibby. I believe it's the 135 model here, or I should say firmware. Yes, it is the 135 version of the Tomato Shivy mod. So, what do we do first? Okay, so in this test here, we're going to basic, and the first thing we want to do is disable our DHCP. We want to reassign the WAN port to the bridge. We're going to shut off DHCP because we're not going to need it and for this one here we're going to make this 8 because that's the subnet subnet for our test network here 3 that's off our gateway we want to put that in 192.168.8.1 same for the static oops hello same for the static DNS and here comes the fun part. So we want to change the 5 gigahertz band to wireless ethernet bridge and we want to type in our wireless network, the test security here, it's personal and my favorite test password pew 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 one two three and we can keep my regular configuration here for the 2.4 gigahertz. So what we're going to do here is we're going to disable the Ethernet port and connect through Wi-Fi. And here we go. I forgot to hit OK on this part here, so let's try that again. So here we're going to release the IP address. And renew. So far so good. Now, right now, I'm connected via Ethernet, so we're going to unplug this now and connect through Wi-Fi. I probably should have renamed this 2.4 GHz wireless network SSID to something that I don't already have here, so way to go, Dan. So we'll just say test me for the 2.4 band. Say save, and then we'll try the Wi-Fi setup here. I'm going to bring back up the refreshed status page overview and we look at that we got no ethernet jacks plugged in we're connected to the 2.4 gigahertz which is being bridged over 5 gigahertz so there you have it it's a 5 gigahertz wireless bridge to a 2.4 gigahertz wireless access point as always if you like what you see here folks like subscribe comment it will be greatly appreciated this is Dan from South Hall Computing, and as always, until the next time.